Okay, everyone, and welcome to the midweek market update. So, guys, in this session, I'm going to be giving you an update on the price that I'm focusing on for the day. So, without wasting any time, let us get into it. So, the main two pairs that I'm focused on for today is going to be the US dollar over the Japanese yen and also the Canadian dollar over the Japanese yen. So, let us start with the US dollar over the Japanese yen. So, this one on the higher time frame, this is what we are seeing. So, price has been forming what this movement with basically wants this impulsive movement, corrective structure, impulsive movement, corrective structure, impulsive movement, corrective structure. And as you can see from the previous movement, once price breaks from the corrective structure, what happens? It impulses down. Once it breaks from the corrective structure, what happens? It impulses down. So also over here, that's the same type of movement that I'm anticipating from this pair. For this to do it, to continue to impulse down. So price has already formed what the breakout over here. So I'm anticipating for this to do it to continue to impulse up at least well until the 90% roll. And now dropping lower into my lower time frame in terms of my entry, how am I looking to execute this one? So this is how I'm looking to execute. Similar to the higher time frame, lower time frame, this is my impulsive movement. And this is acting as what well as my corrective structure. So like this, on the breakout, I'm looking to place my entry, stops above, and I take profit all the way to the, all the way to the downside. So this is how I'm looking at what the US dollar over the Japanese yen. Now the next part that I'm focused on is going to be what? The Canadian dollar over the Japanese yen. So this one also similar to that previous one, high time frame. So on the higher time frame, this is how price is looking like. This is acting as what is my impulsive movement down. This is acting as what is my sideways corrective structure. And then pressed it for multi breakout. So I'm anticipating for this period to continue to impulse all the way to the downside. And then in the, in the lower time frame, in terms of my entry, Price has already formed that this is my impulsive movement down. And this is acting as what as my corrective structure. And I'm looking to enter away on the breakout in case what my stops above and my take profit all the way to the downside. So this is how I'm looking at what the Canadian dollar over the Japanese. So mainly focused on what in these two pairs. So between the two, both of these pairs continue at the Japanese yen, as you can see over them. So according to preference, I'd like to go to an indexness structure. So the one indexness structure is going to be the Canadian dollar over the Japanese yen. So I'm choosing to do to stick with this one. But if this one doesn't work out, then we'll go on to the USD JPY and see how this one takes that. But according to preference, I'll have to go to the Canadian dollar over the Japanese yen. So this is going to be my pair for the day. I'll continue to give an update once this pair goes into profit or that goes up to my stop loss I'll update you guys but for now this is going to be the end of our session take care guys and i'll see you next time